Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Stormblood. What have we got now, Alize? I had quite the adventure and quite the Echo Vision earlier this afternoon, and not sure what to think of it. All right. So, Lisa's back, apparently. Okay. I can do for you, girl. Kind of problems. Um, okay. Well, let's go talk to him then. How many more armor sets do we need? That's the question. More importantly, can we get them to fit everybody who needs them to be fit? I mean, I had that problem because, you know, not exactly a lot of elves in hanging around Domo over here. Hello! Nailed the Venture Games rules. Take everything that's not nailed down. Special ones for you, Gary. Why did you, Gary, get special ones? Well, I guess some thanks for, you know, saving a brother and all, but why should not I get any either? I was there too. What kind of armor are we looking for? That's the question. Okay. It's as good a lead as any for now. Oh, it's so good that we can fly even though we're not finished with this zone. Thank you for that, devs. Thank you. Wouldn't be so bad if flying weren't 10%, you know, I don't know if it's 10%, uh, I can't math in my head right now. But flying is faster than, than running, and if you got the mount of speed upgrades earlier, probably would have been better. No, no, I don't want to talk to you, no. What's up, old dude? Well, I can always just, you know, kick you in places if you dare to laugh at me.
<laughs> Lisa's thrilled about this. So yeah, old man's uh, got a good point. Um, scrap metal very easily found. We just need to, you know, be able to break it up in order for transport and to meld it into stuff. And he's given us just the means to do that. Aw, oh, crap. I gotta aim this thing. <laughs> Uh, thankfully, we have just the explosive to do it, so that's good. I always wonder why this isn't taken more advantage of, because I, I, I want to say I pointed this out all the way back in Revenant's Toll, that why has nobody salvaged the place for scrap metal, and if for nothing else, just sold it, you know? Oh, don't you even. Oh, lots more bits here. How am I carrying all this weight? Am I done yet? Okay, good. Phew. I think I'm over the weight limit for my carbuncle over here. Okay, for some reason I have 15 pieces of steel even though I only collected 9, but... Uh, he is kind of quite alive. Uh, no. Do, do we have to drag him to the village ourselves? You know, he's got a fancy bird. He can just fly in and be like, oh, hey. Hey, guys. Uh, I'm totally here and I'm totally safe. Yeah, I'm ready to fight for Doma. You guys cool with that? Okay, thanks. Bye. So, yeah, he turned around real quick once three people told him, no, really, he's still alive. Um. Okay. Didn't take much to convince you, but I suppose I can do that. And let me put this weapon on because I'm going to forget if I don't. Well, we already have a plan. Alright, so we gotta help more people in need. Thankfully nobody's putting my hands to delicate work, because they're not exactly suited for that kind of stuff. Okay, so you're good. That's that's fine. That's great and dandy. Glad for it. Okay, even better. Um, okay. 
you know, shouldn't your sister be over here with you, um, you know, studying those plans for how to shut those gates off? Okay. Sounds dandy. Where it? Damn it! I forgot. I keep forgetting the roof is in the, the well, well. The lack of roof is right over here. So I keep flying into the dang ceiling like a dummy. Great place for a hideout, though. It's well guarded. Moment for all those we have lost, guys. Maybe if I, you know, don't walk past him, that would be fantastic. <laughs> Why are we hiding around the corner? There's nobody here. Um, okay. Why did we not think to salvage this place earlier? I don't know. But yet yeah, now you can see some of the evidence of the destruction. And yeah. It's a better image of what they raised to the ground. Like this, this could have been a potential eighth right plaza over here, and maybe, maybe not, but certainly looks like it. Yeah, I found one usable weapon. <laughs> Not really that helpful, but... So it's nice to see the reveal that, in fact, he did not grow up in the castle, as could be easily assumed.
No, oh, did we just have a revelation here? Um, okay. So, I guess we will not quite be following the plans to the letter. Um, okay. Well, you better not be, because, uh, everyone will have my head if I let you off the hook, because they're all worried you might do such a thing and go gallivanting off of the castle on your own. Ugh. Um, yeah, about that. Uh, he's a grown big boy who can take care of himself? Question mark? Like, nobody has any new dialogue still, surprisingly. Get the megaphone! May I present the Blue Cogent's Emissary? It's Sorban, isn't it? <laughs> Greetings and well-met, old friends. The Elder sends his regards. Of course. Soroban, it's good to have you with us. If, uh, you might humor me. Thank you for coming, Solomon. Doubtless you have already been informed of our plans and the role we would have your people play. However, I seek your counsel as a Corjin of the Blue. Be it by spell or siegecraft. Could your forces destroy the underwater foundations of Doma Castle's outer wall? Hmm. Explosives coupled with a few incantations. Yes, that might produce sufficient force. Such a thing could indeed be done. Then I wish to revise the plan. Instead of assisting the Confederacy in securing the Enclave, I would have the Corjin advance upstream beneath the water and breach a segment of the outer wall. I mean to flood Dorma Castle. My lord, the castle is a sacred symbol. The very heart of our nation. To destroy it is unthinkable, unconscionable. You cannot do this. Well, he's in charge, so yes. Yes, he can. I can and I will if it improves our chances. By flooding the castle, we remove the better part of their forces from the field and force Yotsu to retreat to the highest levels of the keep. Tell me that is not a worthwhile trade. But my lord, that castle was entrusted to you by your father, and his father before him. I say to you again, it is the heart of our nation. Stone walls do not a nation make, my friend. Her people do. And as long as we yet live, we can rebuild. So let us only think of this battle, of victory here and now. For without that, we have no future. I see that you are resolved, Lord Hian, and I would not presume to gainsay your decision. 
I will inform the Elder of your revised stratagem, and instruct our sappers to make ready. Our preparations are all but complete. Once we receive word from our Kojin allies, we shall set our plans in motion. We shall fight, and we shall prevail. Fist bump? So yeah, I have to say, I rather like that exchange where Gosetsu's like, No, no, the sa castle is a sacred symbol, you can't just destroy it so easily like that. And Hien also makes a good point too, because architecture is very important to our daily lives, whether we realize it or not. Um, iconography as, as well, which is more ever since the days of literacy have taken over to, you know, be become a bit more or dominant like if you if you've ever seen the lol how long you know how how far has education fallen that you know people in society recognize these advertisement symbols but not you know these kind of leaves on the tree well putting aside that complete apple star oranges argument for one for one second it does bring up a point that those kind of symbols are ingrained into our mind and they automatically you know impart certain meetings meanings simply by looking at them and just just to give an example um like you see characteristic golden arches you know that's a mcdonald's or if we go back even you know in more historically relevant times the steeple of a church you see that in the distance you know there's a church or some kind of religious site over there you don't need a sign you don't need directions you just automatically know because you have been trained and taught even even not not so in words what this symbol actually means to your culture or the locality and everything like that and you even you even see it in different cultures with you know say how people build their houses if you look at like photos of houses online you can almost tell at least to some extent even if you can't pinpoint pinpoint the location you know a house built in the southern united states versus the northern united states because the roofs are different because they have to handle different climates or something from more european style or southeast asia or like japan or that kind of thing even if you do, you can't pinpoint where that place was actually you know actually built like you may not know like say that looks vaguely asian i don't know where but you still recognize that it looks asian because architecture and especially you know, the design that goes in architecture is still a very important part of our lives, even if we don't really appreciate it as such. Nowadays, it's more important is to say recognition of company logos, because now we don't need, you know, specific architecture to, from a distance to tell us what something is. Well, because we're all literate now, you know, we can read that on a map so easily. But at the end of the day, as much as those places have historical significance and your town or county or locale may actually have ordinances about, you know, keeping and, and restoring old architecture or places because they have sign significant historical uh, context and importance, at the end of the day, it is just a building. And Hien's point is that that building um, can't be a substitution for people's lives and people's freedom. A building does not make us, you know, a society and a nation make. We actually partially went through this with the, the mall children, is they of themselves isn't what make a nation. It's the people that do. Like, a, a, build, a building can crumble, a building can be rebuilt, but you can't say the same thing about people's, you know, very balance between life and death and, and freedom and enslavement. Those are things not so easily traded for with just stone. Yeah, 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 we already went through that. It's fine. I'm sure everyone will come out of this A-okay. 
you know, they're all rubbing it in this, like, oh, we're all gonna die. No, it's probably gonna be fine, and everyone's gonna come off without a scratch. Yeah, we're not. We're gonna rest. We've done our part. We're good. You're awake. I was just, um, well, they threw me out, actually. Told me I needed to get some sleep. Ready for the big day. Well, where are you gonna go? Not long now, eh? I'm nervous, of course, but I also feel like, like I didn't know where I was going, but maybe finally. Something's gonna change, you know? Really, really change. And when the dust has settled, we'll see what we've won and what we've lost. I'm going to give it my all tomorrow. Everything I've seen and felt, I won't let it be for nothing. Right, off to bed. Don't want to overdo it, and neither should you. Oh, but before you sleep, you should look in on Elfino and Alize. Quietly, of course. Oh? Um. Okay. Good night, Elise. Another restless soul. Come, come. Raise a glass to freedom. Uh, keep it down. You got people sleeping in this room. There's a bunch of people nodding off in the corner over there. Hmm. Good. Good. I should be interested to know her thoughts on the matter. Well, my thoughts on the matter is why do you throw Lisa out and the two of you are sitting here drinking when you should be asleep as well? Ah, uh, that's enough, Gosetsu. You'll not convince anyone with your drunken ramblings. We've talked about this, all of us. We are flooding the castle tomorrow, and that's the end of it. Oh my god, you guys are still arguing about this. I know, I know. I accepted your decision, and I do not intend to go back on my word. Nevertheless, as the battle draws near, I cannot help but recall our many travails, and it fair compels me to speak. In all my time serving as a leader of men, there are two failures which haunt me to this day. The first. Our defeat at the hands of the Empire twenty-five years past, and the subsequent imprisonment of your father. Long did I consider offering up my life in atonement, until Lord Kyan allowed at last to receive visitors called for me, of all people, for my unborn child. He said, for my dearest Shun, live. My second failure, of course, was the betrayal of that selfsame command. When in the rebellion I failed to protect not only Lord Kayan, but Lord Hien too. Did I yet live, having known such disgrace, is an affront to the Kami themselves.
Yet you, all of you, saw fit to grant this shameful creature, this failure, another chance to serve a greater purpose. And you can't blame yourself because the Empire is a bunch of meanie pants. Thank you for pitying an old fool. All right, go, go, Satsu, go to bed. I think you're drunk. Sleep it off, brah. Now, now, it is far too soon for that. Save your tears for the morrow. You may be sure we will have ample cause to shed them, be they for joy or despair. Ah, even that sounds morose. We who yet walk the path should not think too much on the destination. When the hour arrives, we shall welcome what comes with open arms. Is right about one thing, though. We have you and yours to thank for this chance. All debts will be repaid. On that you have my word. But first we must live past tomorrow, no? If you've no intention of sleeping, you giddy, you may as well join us. Why are you hiding? Forgive me, my lord. I did not mean to... Uh, if that is your will. Yeah, he said knock it off with the formalities a while ago, and why were you not invited to this drink fest? Like, why is she, why is she being so left out here? Like, I understand... The relationship between he and Gosetsu is a bit different than what she has a relationship with either of the two, but you don't really see that explored, and it's it's a huge disservice to her character. Like, you never really find out, you know, why she is so loyal to Lord he and rather than, you know, simply say, you know, just the dome and cause or anything like that. Or, you know, how well, and like, we can see that she and Gosetsu do get along well, but... Yeah, you woke him up, you jerks, with your rabble-rousing. Oh, we, we didn't see anything. We saw nothing. And... Yeah, if you actually go outside, Alize is actually not loaded into the map at this time, so you can't even poke her about that. And part of me wonders if it's not so much her that's embarrassed by, you know, sleeping on her brother's shoulder, but him. And he's just, you know, acting like... Yeah, just, just, just don't talk to her about it. Because, yeah, it takes a lot for someone not only to fall asleep just completely upright and stay upright, but to have somebody's head on your shoulder as well and still manage to sleep like that. Um, yeah, yeah, that tells me that's happened before. A lot of times before. Alright, so I apologize for the length this is going on, but we're right at the cusp of unlocking the next dungeon, so I want to take care of that because that is going to be quite the long... Damn it, I keep forgetting that's not the place with the ceiling. Or a place lacking the ceiling, whatever. And uh, I want to leave appropriate time for both the dungeon and the aftermath because, oh boy, there's going to be a lot to unpack there. Yeah, dang it. Thankfully I'm still in the mount so I can just fly up. Yeah. Oh, really? Ugh. 
I hate you, local wildlife. <sighs> All right, let the operation begin. Understood. Wish us luck. Good luck. No, no, I don't want to do that. That button. Right. You all know what you have to do. Are you ready? Oh, yes. Ready to show them what a good job they made of breaking us. Then what are you waiting for? Move out! <sighs> Why must we waste our time guarding this blasted... Hmm? Sound the alarm! Fluminous is under attack! Armed insurgents have breached the perimeter! We need reinforcements! Well, that was unnecessarily harsh, but I suppose it gets the job done. This is Lee's. Imperial forces converging on our position. Looks like we've got their attention. We'll be sure to keep them busy for as long as we can. Let's go! Well, that's not much of an army, but animation budget, I guess, so we're just going to let that one slide. Ah, war! To wield power, to make men kneel before you. There is no better feeling. A pity I must share this pleasure with a feral dog of a Dothal. Preening, Orinir. You fear that she will put the sun in shade. Those are for you. Go, claim your prey. Okay, even I can admit, even though I hate this guy, that was pretty badass. <laughs> Come to me! Come to your death! With each that falls, my soul soars higher! Swiftly, brothers! Fall not behind! Make an offering of their steel to Father Azim! Well, I see that is taken care of now. Can I please go inside the castle now? They seem to be enjoying themselves. My lord, the barrier! The 
that it should fall so soon. Truly, our allies seem determined to surpass each other. The Magitech field is down. I repeat, the Magitech field is down. Confederate vessels, you are clear to advance upon the Enclave. Well, I'm pretty sure they can see that from a couple miles away. <laughs> it's a pretty big flashy gate. Take it, that's our cue. Uh, that is a pretty big hole, you just... Dang. Um, is this place gonna be structurally sound? The wall is breached. The Kojin 2 will not be outdone. Our allies have set the stage. Now we must take the castle. With me! My lady, the riverside wall has been breached. The lower levels are already flooded and the water is still rising. So I gathered. He would tear the whole thing down. All for the promise of freedom. A noble sacrifice for the last desperate flailings of a fool. Speaking of which, how fares my brute? The, the procedure was carried out as instructed by Lord Aulus. By all indications, it was a success. Um, okay. Is that so? Then he may yet be of some use. Devotees of vengeance should rightly pursue their cause unto the bitter end, don't you think? Their hearts aflame with passion until the last few embers fizzle and fade, leaving naught but ash. The Viceroy's orders were clear. If Dormer falls, none shall be spared of his wrath. Tell the men to fight as if their lives depend on it. Because they do. Uh, as you command, my lady. <sighs> Again they come to make you kneel. To make you grovel and suffer. But you have endured their worst and survived. You know their tricks. They will not find a flower simply waiting to be plucked. Oh, God, can I please unlock the dungeon now? <laughs> this episode has gone on way longer than I anticipated it going on. I forgot how long these cutscenes were. Can I please, please... Oh, God, I still have more to go. I'm so sorry about the length of this, guys. Ugh. I just want to unlock this place.
Okay, so we're gonna separate once inside. Okay. Fodoma! Alright, so again, apologies for the massive length of this episode. I had completely forgotten how long those cutscenes were before the end of this. So we're just going to cut it off right here. Next episode is probably going to be equally as long. There's a lot to unpack on what's going on. But I shall see you then. Thank you for watching, everybody.